Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jerry and this is The Old Man and the Reed. Uh, today I'm going to be the, doing the third uh, video of the Nobel Prize winners that I've read. Uh, I've already recorded two. Uh, they were from the years 1901 to 1928 and then the second video was 1929 to 1953. So today I'll start with 1954 and I plan to go through 1980. Uh, so uh, I'll just be showing the books themselves that I've read and uh, my plan is to later do individual videos of the writers and their books uh, and I'll discuss them then. So. Uh, Anyway, uh, 1954 is where I'm starting, and the winner that year was Ernest Hemingway of the United States, and he wrote novel and short story, and I've read a few of his. Uh, the first is In Our Time. Uh, to Have and Have Not. The Sun Also Rises, The Old Man and the Sea, I think this is my favorite Hemingway book, For Whom the Bell Tolls, A Movable Feast, Uh, this is uh, the short stories of Ernest Hemingway. A Farewell to Arms. And the last book of his that I've read is the Nick Adams stories. And this is a series of short stories featuring Nick Adams. Then in 1955, the winner was uh, Haldor Laxness of Iceland, and he wrote novel and short stories, and I've read a few of his books. Uh, Independent People, The Fish Can Sing, World Light, Under the Glacier, and finally Paradise Reclaimed. Uh, 1956, the winner was Juan Ramon Jimenez of Spain, uh, and he wrote poetry and novel, and actually uh, the book I have, the only book I've read of his is called uh, Platero and I, and it's actually kind of a memoir, I guess, an autobiography of himself traveling around on his donkey Platero, but a really, you know, a fun book to read. Uh, in 1957, the winner was Albert Camus of France. Uh, he wrote novel and short stories, and I've only read two books by him. The first is The Stranger, and the second is the Plague. In 1958, the winner was Boris Pasternak of the Soviet Union. He wrote novel. He's well, or he's known primarily for one book, uh, Dr. Zhivago, and that's the only book that I have actually read from him. 
Then uh, 1959, the winner was Salvatore Quasimodo of, from Italy. He wrote poetry, and I read just this one small issue of poetry uh, by him. Uh, and it's uh, Quasimodo's selected poems. In 1960, the winner was Saint Jean Pers of France. Uh, he wrote poetry, and I've just read one book by him, and that's Selected Poems. Then uh, 1961, the winner was Ivo Andre, uh, or Andrik, uh, uh, from the Yugoslav or from Yugoslavia, he wrote novel and short story. Uh, I've read four of his books: uh, the Pasha's Concubine and Other Tales. Bosnian Chronicle. Probably my favorite book of his: uh, The Bridge on the Drina. And uh, lastly, uh, the vizier's elephant. In 1962, uh, the winner was John Steinbeck of the United States, and he wrote novel and short story. And I've read a few books of his, not a huge amount, but. Uh, uh, the first is The Winter of Our Discontent. Uh, probably his most famous book, uh, Of Mice and Men. Uh, next is East of Eden. Uh, Sweet Thursday. Uh, perhaps his most famous, uh, The Grapes of Wrath. Uh, this is a book of uh, the short novels of John Steinbeck. Next is Tortilla Flat. And finally, uh, this is a little lesser known book, uh, The Acts of King Arthur and His Noble Knights. Then in 1963, uh, the winner was George Seferis. Uh, he's from Greece, he wrote poetry and uh, this is a collected poems by him. Next, in 1964, is Jean-Paul Sartre of France. He wrote uh, philosophy, novel, drama, but I've only read one book. Uh, it's a novel. The Age of Reason. Okay, uh, in 1965, the winner was Mikhail Sholokhov of the Soviet Union, and he wrote novel, and I have, I've read four of his books. Uh, the first is The Dawn Flows Home to the Sea, Then, And Quiet Flows the Dawn. Harvest on the Dawn. And finally, uh, Virgin Soil Upturned. Okay, in 1966, there were two winners. 
uh, that year. Both are, um, the first is uh, Shmuel, or S.Y. Agnon is what he, his books are listed as, S.Y. Agnon. Uh, and this is 21 stories. And the other one, uh, the other only other book I've read is Only Yesterday. Then uh, the other winner for that year is Nellie Sachs. Uh, she's from Germany. Uh, she wrote poetry. And uh, I've just read one book of hers, uh, Oh, the Chimney. Uh, these, the, this book is based primarily on uh, the Holocaust. And uh, the title poem, Oh, the Chimney, is really quite a powerful poem. Then in 1967, the winner was Miguel Angel Asturias of Guatemala, and he wrote novel and poetry, and I've read one little book by him, uh, The Mirror of Lida Saul. In 1968, uh, the winner was Yasunari Kalabata of Japan. He wrote novel and short stories, and I've read a few of his books. Uh, First, First Snow on Fuji, Thousand Cranes, Snow Country, The Master of Go, The Sound of the Mountain, and finally a short story compilation, Palm of the Hand Stories. Uh, then, 1969, the winner was Samuel Beckett of Ireland. He wrote novel, drama, and poetry. I've read three books by him. Uh, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of Samuel Beckett's, but the first book, Waiting for Godot, I thought was just excellent. I really enjoyed this book. And uh, it's uh, actually a drama. Uh, next is Murphy, and then uh, The Complete Short Prose of Samuel Beckett. In 1970, the winner was Alexander Solzhenitsyn uh, of the Soviet Union. He wrote novel and essay and short story. Uh, and I've read a, a few of his books. Most of them I read 40, 50 years ago. But uh, I, I thought he was really excellent. Uh, the first is Cancer Ward. This is a little book, We Never Make Mistakes. Uh, this is the uh, Stories and Prose Poems. One Day in the Life of Ivan Denos Denosovich. The, in the First Circle. Uh, August 1914. And finally, uh, Gulag. Gulag Archipelago. In 1971, the winner was Pablo Neruda of Chile. He wrote poetry, and I read just one book by him. It's uh, titled Five Decades of Poem, 1925 to 1970. Uh, 
1972. The winner was Heinrich Boll of uh, Germany. He wrote novel and short story. And I've read several of his books. Uh, the first is Billiards at Half Past Nine. The Lost Honor of Catherine Blum. End of a Mission. Children are Civilians Too. What's to Become of the Boy or Something to Do with Books. Soldier's Legacy. Uh, a book of story, short stories, uh, the stories of Heinrich Boll. The Clown. And lastly, The Silent Angel. Okay, then uh, moving on to 1973, the winner was Patrick White from Australia. He wrote novel and short story, and I've read three of his books. Uh, the first is Voss, then The Vivisector, and finally the eye of the storm. In uh, 1974, this is kind of an unusual year. Um, one of the problems with uh, literary awards often is they're political. And in 1974, uh, the uh, two winners were from Sweden, and they were both um, members of the Swedish Academy. So basically, they were awarding themselves uh, the award, and you know that really takes away from uh, from it. And uh, you know whether or not they would have won if they hadn't been is an open question, but it just uh, seems a little suspicious. Uh, now, uh, the first is Ivan Johnson. Uh, from Sweden. He wrote novel, and I've only read one book by him, uh, Dreams of Roses and Fire. And uh, the uh, second winner from Sweden was Harry Martinson. Uh, he wrote poetry, and I've read one of his books, uh, The Procession of Memories, Selected Proms 1929 to 1945. Then in 1975, the winner was Eugenio Montale of Italy. Uh, he wrote poetry, and I've read one book of his. This is the Collected Poems, 1920 to 1954. Uh, then in 1976, the winner was Saul Bellow. Uh, and I've wrote several or read several of his books. Uh, the first is Ravelstein. Next is uh, the collected stories of Saul Bellow. Uh, a theft. Humboldt's Gift, Mr. Samler's Planet, Herzog, Seize the Day, 
probably my uh, favorite Saul Bellow book, Henderson and the Rain King. And finally, uh, The Adventures of Augie March. Uh, 1977, the w winner was Vicente Alexandre of Spain. He wrote poetry, and uh, I've read one book of poetry by him, A Longing for the Light. Uh, then, uh, in 1978, uh, the winner was Isaac Bashevis Singer. He's from the United States, originally from Poland. Uh, he wrote novel and short story, and uh, I've read several of his books. Uh, the first is A Friend of Kafka. Uh, then A Satan in Gore. Uh, the Spit. Spinoza of Market Street. Enemies, a love story. The Slave. The Manor. Manor. The Family Moscat, uh, let's see, this is a little book I found that's just a uh, book of memoirs from his uh, early childhood. Uh, it's titled Stories of a Boy Growing Up in Warsaw. Then uh, The Death of Methuselah. And finally, uh, A Crown of Feathers. Then in 1979, uh, the winner was Odysseus Elitus of Greece. Uh, he wrote poetry and essay, and I have just the one book of poems, The Sovereign Son. And finally, uh, the last uh, writer I'll be talking about in this video is Czesław Miloš of Poland, and uh, he wrote poetry and essay. And I've read quite a bit of his work. I really love it. Uh, he's excellent, one of my favorite poets, and uh, his essays are awfully close to his poetry. So I've read quite a bit of his work. Uh, the first is The Captive Mind. The Seizure of Power. Visions from San Francisco Bay. And he actually uh, lived in Berkeley for quite a few years. In later life, uh, he taught at Berkeley. Native Realm, To Begin Where I Am, Beginning With My Streets, The Mountains of Paranassus, and this is actually a novel that he wrote. The Land of Ulro, the Isa Valley, and uh, let's see, some of the poetry I've read of his, uh, Roadside Dog, 
second space this is a book of essay kind of unusual but uh, it's Melosha's ABCs and uh, it was a good book though uh, another book of poetry uh, selected poems And uh, another book of poetry, also called Selected Poems, 1931 to 2004. And so that uh, is all of Meloche's that I've read. And that'll end this video. Uh, so this was the third of my Nobel Prize. And I will be beginning uh, another video here soon uh, and starting with 1981. Uh, thank you for watching.